Well, I think there are a few reasons uh, why Biden organized the summit. But I think first and foremost, it's to symbolically show the importance of democracy at a moment when there's a lot of weakness and backsliding and concerns about whether the de democratic enterprise is going to continue in a healthy direction. And so I think first and foremost, having together all these leaders and in the first year of Biden's term saying, look, democracy matters, here's why, let's stand together, let's work on it. Uh, that's really been a primary objective, I think, uh, for the president. Will there be any tangible outcomes, do you think, as a result? Well, uh, earlier today, uh, the Biden administration released a $400 million democracy package, and I think that's the start of a lot of commitments that countries are going to bring uh, to defending democracy around the world. What we can expect, actually, is a year of action. So the democracy is a kickoff. The summit is a kickoff. And then we'll have a year of action, and then there'll be a second summit next year in person where countries will say, here's what we did. So I think there is a lot on the agenda, and hopefully countries will deliver on the pledges that they are making today and tomorrow. Right. When it comes to uh, the main uh, points of aggression, do you think that uh, China will feature prominently, obviously not invited to these talks, along with Russia, especially in light of the build-up uh, that we're seeing along the Ukraine-Russia border and the fears uh, that are there for some kind of military incursion or conflict by Russia into Ukraine? Well, certainly the backdrop and geopolitical challenge of China and Russia aren't far from the minds of world leaders. In fact, even in Biden's opening statement, he talked about this inflection point that democracy is facing. And part of the inflection point that he's referencing is the fact that uh, especially when it comes to China, an emerging giant geopolitically, uh, that there really is a threat and a, and a challenge to democracy that he is hoping an alliance can help bolster and push back on. And so while China and Russia aren't directly referenced, uh, you know, in terms of the summit itself, the fact that they're not invited, the fact that they have very strongly and publicly pushed back and said, you know, we should be part of this, we should be considered democracies as well, I think is an, an incredibly critical subtext for what's happening uh, on the world stage.